Hi, and welcome to the class for C Sharp Programming and Creating Web Pages with ASP.NET. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a security class to an application. In the view that you see in front of you, we created in a previous tutorial of how to echo back some data. So for example, we have the username and pass, and all the program does is echo it back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a security class to authenticate specific users. Okay, so for the goal of this video, we're going to not just take any user, but we're going to have a specific user and authenticate them using a special class. So for this video, you're going to have to have the application up and running that we created in a previous tutorial. In that video, we created a specific route to handle logins. We have a user model, and then we also have a item called the uh, login view. And so those are all of the things that we created in the previous tutorials. So for this part of the application, I'd like to make a new folder and call it Services. So I'm going to right click on the project title that's called Login App and select New Folder and then name that folder Services. Now this folder will hold multiple services. We're going to create another folder inside of here and call it Business. So it'll be a business service. So we'll keep that folder around for use, but I want to create another folder called data. So it looks like we have a business services folder and a data services. So inside of the data folder, I'm going to right click and add a new class, a new item. And let's call this class the security DAO. So DAO stands for data access object. And so this will talk to a database eventually. Let's go to the business folder and right click there and choose a new class. I'm going to call this class security service and of course this will be the authenticating object that will allow us to check to see if a user is real or false. So I'm going to call upon my security DAO object and make a new object. You notice that I have to import these so let's go to the helpful hints and let's see what the options are. So I'm going to use using the login services data object here. And so the new include shows up on line one. So the goal of this service is to provide a way to authenticate. So we're going to have a function or method called authenticate and it will return a Boolean value. So that's true or false. The parameter that it's going to accept is a user object. So user model is the data type for our user object. Now, for this one piece of example, I'm just going to return true. So we haven't actually authenticated anybody because if we return true every time, it's always authenticated. So what I plan to do then in the DAO service is to have a method called findByUser. And so that will go to the database, look up a user, and if it finds it, it will return a true value. And so the, the security service is going to rely on the DAO service to be able to do its work for it. So obviously this method doesn't exist yet. There's nothing in the class that I created called DAO service. So let's go see if there's a suggestion that will automatically help us write some code. And sure enough, it says you can generate a method. Let's go ahead and choose that. The error message went away, but where did the code go? Well, let's go look at the security DAO and find out what's in there. So the new code was added here on lines 11, 12, 13, 14. So it automatically created the method. So we're going to put some database work in here, but not just yet. For right now, I'm going to put in some hard-coded values. So the if statement that I'm looking for is to say, if the username equals admin and the password equals secret, then we'll consider that a successful login. So we'll only have one valid user in our system until we add the database. Don't forget to add the double equal side when you do a comparison. So if it is an actual valid user, we're going to return the true value. And if it's not, of course, we'll resend, we'll resend back a false. Here's an alternative way we could have coded this. Let's comment out the existing code. Since we are returning a true or false value, we could evaluate the expression itself. 
So the return function will return whatever the uh, expression evaluates to, saving us about six or seven lines of code. Let's go to the login controller page. And instead of simply returning the results here, we're going to modify the code. So we are going to rely on the class called the security service. As you can see, it needs to be imported. So I want to use the security service and save it into a Boolean value. So I'll define a value called success. And it will get its results from the security service. So security service does have a method called authenticate. And it's expecting a user. So I'm going to put in the word user model. Where did I get user model from? Well, remember, user model was defined here as an input parameter. And so whatever comes to this service, we're going to send on to the security service. So after I get the success variable, let's check to see what its value is. And then I will return a string, either successful login or failure not logged in. Now recall that the security DAO is only set up to work with the admin and secret password, both of them capitalized. Let's test this out. So I launch the application and it immediately goes to the path called login slash login. Let's take out one of those logins and let's try again. Okay, I'm going to use a false login first of all, so I'll put in some name that doesn't exist and now I get a failure. Okay, so it didn't work. Now let's put in the admin as the username and the password I put was secret, capital secret. And this time I get login success. So we've got ourselves one step further. So let's review here. In the controller, I created a reference to the security service. The security service will return a value called authenticate. It's a Boolean. And so if we get a success, I'll return a good message. And if it's a failure, I will turn a failure message. So we have a security DAO, which will eventually work with the database, and the security service, which depends on that security DAO. Very shortly, we're going to add a database. So that way we can have multiple users that can log in and we can check for their passwords. So if you're not on the playlist, go check out the links here and see what the other previous videos are and the ones that are coming.